Since the dawn of digital video, watching movies on the go meant having an MP4 player, a smartphone, maybe even a tablet. But if you wanted that big screen experience, you'd probably go with a laptop. How about something else? We don't know this because it was very rare in, the, in, in Europe or actually even in, uh, in the States. But in China, they had this. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Beam 2. Let's have a look at it. This is the Techno Reviewer. Go with intro. Welcome back to the second episode of the Retro Review, uh, a segment of the Techno Reviewer. So we were talking about the Galaxy Beam 2. So why wasn't we aware of this phone and uh, what makes this phone so interesting, so to speak? Well, the Samsung Galaxy Beam 2 was released, uh, was actually announced in 2014 and later during the year released. Um, and it, uh, it features a 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad core processor. Um, it has um, a 480 by 800 uh, pixel resolution screen and it has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. So what's so impressive about this? Well, the top. At the top, there's a projector. And this is what makes this phone interesting. So this phone is actually a projector phone and was released in China. Uh, unfortunately, the reason why we never actually heard of this phone is because it was um, interesting enough um, just sold on the China mobile. Um, and this phone was quite impressive. Obviously, being in China, this phone did not have Google services, as you may have, been, you may have heard that... Uh, uh, Google is uh, well, sort of banned in China, so there is no services. There is ways of routing this, and in fact, I will show you uh, how this phone works. And this phone does work really pretty well. Obviously, adding the um, Google services makes this phone more of a an interesting phone and usable in the European market or US market. The phone itself does not have anything special and different in the US uh, apart from any other phone of the of its era. This was a 2014 phone. It was released with 4.2 uh, Jelly Bean. Well, actually, it was released with 4.0 4 um, Android, which was then upgradable to 4.2. So the latest version is 4.2. Jelly Bean runs pretty well. You can install most apps, not all of them, because now newer apps require uh, different versions of Android. But in this particular case, for what you're going to use it, it's absolutely fine. Now, let's just assume that you are going out camping. But someone that goes camping, really realistically, they're gonna wanna watch a movie. Why not? So where are we gonna watch this big movie screen movie? Are we gonna watch it on a laptop? How about you pull out your Samsung Galaxy Beam 2, you put on a projector mode, and you project it onto the tent, onto a white screen. Perhaps you've got a white van, you can project it against a white van. I don't know what is the scenario, but regardless, you have a projector in your phone. The idea of having a projector in a phone sounds amazing. Just think of the possibilities. Or is it? Because what if the problem with the phone itself is that the projector is in the phone and becomes slightly unusable? Let's have a look into it. I will now show you a sort of a small example on how this phone can be used. Obviously, I'm gonna do it here in in this tiny little room, just showing it how it works. Let's consider that it's a sunny day outside and we've got quite a lot of light. So how does this compare to a TV? How does this compare to a projector that you can buy on the, on the high street? How does this, pro uh, this projector actually compare to watching a video on a big screen? Let's look to that. Well, for this example, I'm going to be using my laptop uh, and I'm just gonna open it up and place a piece of paper with some sellotape although it is white but this is glass so as this is glass it's going to uh, refract slightly the, uh, the image let's put a white piece of paper and place it on the top let's run this all the way down there and that's our makeshift screen now the phone itself does function just like i said as a regular phone and we have the ability to just unlock it and make all of our phone calls or whatever features we want to use. The phone itself is a normal phone and it does have a normal dial pad. 
it's quite slow but you, you would expect that it is a 2014 phone and it has been updated so as you can imagine this does happen the uh the feature itself that we are interested in obviously it's going to be the projector which can be reached from this dlp projector icon over there or from its own dedicated dlp button which is on its side here the rounder phone you've got your power button your micro sd card and the bottom we have a microphone along with a uh, micro usb socket on this other side we've got the sim slot which is interestingly it's actually a uh, a slot sim slot a sim socket as opposed to removing the battery and having it under we have a volume rocker which is uh, quite uh, well, quite nicely shaped to be honest and the headphone jack it's interesting how uh, uh, this joke still goes around where the iPhone can't fit an headphone jack in its phone yet Samsung was able to squeeze an headphone jack along with a projector inside the phone but it's actually smaller at the back we have a camera with uh, its flash not a very good picture of course it's just a camera um, Samsung logo and this China mobile 3G logo. Yeah, this is a 3G handset. And at the top, our very own DLP projector with the microphone. So if I press this button, obviously unlock it first, but if I hold down this button a few seconds, it says projector on. And you can see that it gives you this projector adjustment, which is a nice little scroll wheel with the plus or minus, which are just the uh, uh, focus of the actual uh, of the phone uh yeah a projector um and at the top the projector so how does this work well let's place this onto the paper well already i can see a problem because it's bright outside and it's not really bright on the picture so if i adjust the projector and i try to adjust it in a way that it covers the entire picture you can sort of see it, but it's not the greatest, is it? It's not something you would want to watch. Well, let's try and close the shutters and see what we get. Right, uh, I've closed the shutters and slightly adjusted the angle of the screen so that uh, it gives you a nicer squared uh, image. And uh, to be honest, it's not too bad. Um, looking at this now, uh, it gives you a decent, uh, uh, decent, co uh, decent colors, as well as the blacks appears to be black. Um, but of, of course, also, as we all know, it's a white piece of paper. So um, what's it like to watch a video on? Well, let's just go on uh, one of my videos and, uh, and play that. Let's go for one of these. Uh, let's go from the beginning. And press play. So as you can tell, the screen is uh, slightly washed out. But uh, like I mentioned, um, I'm currently in a room that is not pitch black. Uh, it's not uh, very. Um, uh, it's not very easy to uh, make it pitch black because the shutters do still allow uh, sunlight in. However, it still gives you a, a nice example. If I zoom in, in fact. You can see that uh, the picture is there and it's very well it's very viewable now looking at this i'm gonna i'm gonna be uh, honest with you all um this phone ag exactly was released in uh, in china and uh, yeah it does not come with google services it's uh, it's quite a rarity it's very uh, hard to get hold of a phone like this for some reason uh, looking on ebay i've not been able to find one recently uh, but this was actually uh, gifted to me uh, by a friend uh, a few years back and um, and about it since it's uh it's a phone that i do use sometimes and uh, to be honest sometimes what i do i place it on the floor and have the screen of the projected image um onto the ceiling because well pretty much everyone's ceiling is white and that way you when you when you're sleeping or when you're falling asleep you can just uh, look up onto the ceiling with uh with your picture with your um, movie or whatever you're watching uh, I did find it, find it difficult to install uh, different applications on this phone because obviously of the old software because 4.2.2 is not a very uh, recent software as you can imagine Jellybean is uh, quite a, uh, 
an old uh, old software now and most applications require at least uh, Android 6. Um, however I was able to install uh, applications uh, such as uh, well of course YouTube and uh, Prime Video so um, I'm not going to be able to show you any uh, footage from Prime Video but Prime Video does work on it and uh, as you can see uh, it does load um, slowly but does load eventually it's come here liar no yes it's loading so uh, it does it does load and uh, you can see you can watch uh, movies on this however i don't expect it to be in a very good resolution because as you try to crank the resolution up it does kind of give you um a bit of a runny image uh it's a sort of um judders a bit so it's not the, the greatest image the projector uh, screen is um, uh, as a resolution of uh, 480 by 800 pixel, which uh, incidentally is the same resolution as the screen of the uh, handset itself. So it is again a very uh, reasonable resolution. It does work, and the phone itself, as I said, works just like a normal phone. Uh, it would have been nice to have uh, the ability to uh, have the projector onto the uh, the side of the phone as opposed to the top. And the reason why I'm saying that is because one of the issues that uh, you have with this is that if you are holding the phone like this to type on because the screen is in uh, landscape then having it like this with a projector at the top would have made it nicer and as well as if you wanted to play some games of course on this one there is no gaming because well, the, the processor is not the greatest but if that was a possibility having the phone like this and have the projector on this side would have given you the, the ability to play the games while actually holding the phone with two hands as uh, holding the phone like this and playing a game that is in landscape it's well practically impossible of course there's the ability to uh, pair up a bluetooth uh, um, and uh, handset uh, well like uh, a bluetooth controller but that's probably for another time so the uh, the phone itself well, this is the Galaxy Beam 2. It was never released in the in Europe and it was never released in the States. Only China had this. Well, it's a fantastic phone if you wanted a projector. However, if you did want to uh, find something like this here now, there are many different brands. There's a Blackview is, has released one, which actually has a very good projector and uh, better screens, faster speeds. But Samsung did it first and no one knows about it. This has been the Techno Reviewer and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to put a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. I also have a Patreon page, like I said uh, in previous videos, if you do want to become a Patreon, then please do. I haven't still yet got the idea of what I'm going to give you for it, but, you know, it's always nice to have Patrons. This has been the Techno Reviewer and uh, for this video, I'm signing out.